How's it going, everybody? My name is Southline, and today we are back with Fable 2. Um, uh, Teresa did talk to me, so I'm sorry that you guys missed those dialogue uh, lines, but um, she's right there. Um, one thing about this game that I really, really like is that you can buy properties, and if you lower the rent, uh, like, let's say uh, later down the road, road, I buy all of these properties in this little neighborhood right here, and I lower the rent. Like, I lower the rent for everybody and make them pay less. Eventually, this place will turn into, like, a fucking paradise, a right? People will be able to fucking, um, for or uh, it, it'll be awesome. That That's what I mean. It'll be awesome. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, we're getting some, uh, new stuff, some new weaponry, which we will inevitably, uh, upgrade later. A rusty longsword and a lightly splintered crossbow. Oh, and some health potion. Dog elixir. Collar of holding and a spade. You have a lot um, to learn, Sparrow. But yeah, um, we will be upgrading those uh, weapons, I think, in this episode, because um, these weapons suck ass, obviously, because you know, they're the first weapons you get. Um, there are jobs in this game, so now come with me. Open the gate. Yeah. The Therese is going to give us uh, our first mission and whatnot. It's still part of the um, the intro, the introduction. So. Take this. Yep. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Now... The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. Oh, dark guys, you see that? Hold on. You see that uh, little thing right down there um, on that pillar? It kind of looks like a, a goblin of sorts. Um, we're going to shoot that. Uh, we have to take out all of those goblin heads in uh, different areas. And uh, we get trophies. For, or we get, like... Um, gifts for it and the more of those heads that we shoot the more gifts we get until we eventually shoot all of them uh throughout the entirety of the map i guess you could say and uh i don't know what the gift is that we get so because i've never actually finished that before but i'm hoping that we actually finish that in this series so it's the chamber of fate when you come out again, you will be stronger. Much stronger. Now go. Okay. Hi, Mom. Love you. Okay. Um, yeah, we can't shoot it yet because we don't have anything to aim for. Like, we can't aim at the moment. Uh, because we get that in a skill later on. Once we're able to aim, then we'll come back to this area and get that goblin. Here we get some jet, which can be sold for money, and then we can use that money to buy things. There's a lot of selling things like that, and um, etc, etc. Oh, these silver keys too. We need this. We need to gather these silver keys because there are silver chest. Yeah, there are silver chests everywhere, and. Uh, the more keys you get, the better stuff you get from the silver chests. Because some chests need like 5, some need 15, some need 20 keys, some need 25 keys, etc, etc. And the higher the number of keys needed, the better the loot is. So, we're definitely going to be trying to find as many of those keys as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna 
There we go. Visiting this old tomb here. Don't be alarmed. I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break your fall. Yeah, yeah. I know what I'm doing, Mom. Gotta jump down here, and then we're gonna fight some bugs. Giant beetles. I'm just gonna shoot them. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. And fuck off. And fuck off. We're collecting these orbs. These orbs are experience points. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna talk. Um, each of these, you see these like different color orbs right here. So blue, I believe it. Here, let me go. No, I can't go to abilities. Um, red is magic. Yellow is um dexterity. And then blue is strength. And then green is just general experience points. So the more of these orbs, these individual orbs we collect, um, the more we can upgrade dexterity, strength, and magic. And that's how the upgrading works in this game. Ow, bitch. You're just a bug. You don't mean anything. Actually, that's not true. Bugs mean things to the world. Those Bugs are green important. orbs hold the knowledge and experience another, of the creatures that you kill. Another ki uh, key. I almost said kill. Another kill. Fuck you, bitches! Give me your experience. Nyom. Um, now we're gonna hit this thing. Actually, no, we're gonna shoot it. There's treasure here somewhere. You'll have There's to shoot treasure. the switch to go any further. Yeah, yeah. They're called flit switches. Um, those orb thing, the orb thing that I shot, it's called a flit switch. I should be giving context when I have to talk about things. Um, another chest here. Yeah, when the dog barks, it means it found something. And so you want to follow the dog. A rusty mace, better than the rusty longsword. I'll take it. I don't really like heavy weapons, but... Fuck off. Fuck off. I don't really like heavy weapons because they're... At, at this point. At this point, I don't like heavy weapons because they're too heavy for me at this point. And they're too slow. But eventually, um, I will get the strongest weapons that I can possibly find. And they will be muskets and hammers and or axes. So, and then there's some stuff over here. Brendan's diary. This appears to be a page from an explorer's diary, recording the details of an exp expedition into this cave. Third day, my hand is shaking from exhaustion, but I must be, I must remain vigilant. Ah, vigilant. I almost nodded off last night as we camped around the fire, but... But still managed to keep an eye on Eric and Drake. I have seen the greedy glimmer in their eyes. They mean to They mean to make the treasure theirs. Perhaps it is time to you make use of the poison. Brendan. Yeah. Some people try uh so Brendan and some other people tried to explore these. Eric's letter. This unposted letter was written by a member of an expedition of treasure hunters. Dearest Harriet, Harriet, our voyage onto the entrails, entrails of Bower Lake has taken a turn for the worst. I only hope 
to survive to see the to see daylight again. You were right about Brandon and Eric, Br Brendan and Drake. They are selfish brutes conspiring behind my back, plotting to murder s so that they can keep the treasure for themselves. But fear not, my love, for I, I plan to poison their water supplies while they sleep. Soon we soon we shall be la. Soon we shall be rich. Feverishly yours, Eric. So they fucking killed each other. I've never actually read up on those and like actually read them. I've skimmed over them. Um because that lore is not really important. It's just like side lore. But um yeah, they fucking killed each other, basically. Um Gold is the root of all evil, I guess you could say. I keep thinking of the Dreadnoughts uh, song from Sabaton. That's, that song's stuck in my head. Um, gotta shoot these dudes. How long are we? 11 minutes already? Jeez. I might actually make these uh, episodes longer. Either that, or I might actually request them be edited by my editor. Um... Because this game is really, really long, and an unedited game like this is each. That's gonna be that's gonna be pretty damn long. All right, we've level. We have enough to level up. Fuck off! Fuck off! We have enough to level up, but we can't level up yet. Ah! Oh, I can't roll yet. can't roll yet. That's right. I just get hit by things. I can't roll yet. I said that three times. <laughs> there we go. Killed all those bugs. Now we're in here. Shoot. Hit. Shoot. Opens that gate. Open up! Open up! Come on, open up! Open your face! Door! Um, there are treasures in here, so I'm gonna go in here and grab all these treasures. I believe there's treasures in here. Yep, there's treasures in here. Just gotta kill the bugs. Yeah, yeah. Treasure. There we go. We have, like, no fucking health right now. Because, um, we don't have enough, like, strength and whatnot. If we upgrade our strength, we also upgrade our, um... What do you call it? Our, um, health. The stronger we are, the healthier we are. Okay. Children's health potion? Yeah, I'll take it. Alright. Let's read these books, shall we? Because there's books in here that we can read. And then we can sell them. Uh, the end is almost nigh. This is a collection of predictions and doom mongerings from the mystic and soothsayer Arthur Dandelion. His more cryptic ver visions, such as the one about two brothers of little wit who shall release howling death upon a town of blood have invited speculation and much shrugging of shoulders sh bleh, shrugging of shoulders among his prophecies is the one that foresees the invention of a machine that will aid in the cleaning of soul garments that's not that's that those are actual predictions like the the two brothers of Little Wit who shall release Howling Death upon Town of Blood, that actually happens in this game and in the other game. Um, and then the the invention of a machine that will aid in cleaning of soiled garments—that's some fucking washing machine. So that's actually true. His most fam famous warning: the washing machine is not a warning. That's that's a that's a good invention. His most famous warning is the one that predicts the end of the world. According to Dandelion, it will not come suddenly, but the ground shall shake 
and the past shall erupt into the present in a most bloody manner. Though perhaps a strange being shall transform into a dragon and lay waste to all that lives long, long time before that. Oh my God, that is not, that's not grammatically correct. And that broke my brain and lay waste to all that lives a long time before that happens. There should be an, uh, the letter A before lives and long. Or I guess you could call it the word A. Um, what do I know? What do I know? This isn't a, an exact science or anything. Well, actually, um, that does happen, but it's not a dragon. It's like a darkness. You know what I mean? In the third game, there is a darkness sneak peek, because we are going to play the third game. We're not playing the first game, because it, I've heard it fucking sucks ass. Um... Compared to the second and third one, so we're not going to play the first one. Um, but in the third game, just a slight sneak peek, uh, something strange, be a strange being does actually come into, you know, play and whatnot in this uh, third game. So that will happen. All of that will happen. Um, another. The Hero of Oakvale. Ooh. This is one of the many books written about... The Hero of Oak... Bleh, written about the Hero of Oak... Oakville. Oakvale. Bleh, who defeated the dreaded J Jack of Blades. Though there are... Though there are many conflicting reports regarding the hero's life and his feats, all accounts agree that he wielded the legendary sword of eons against Jack and slew him... And that is... I don't think that's a fucking word. If it is, I don't like it in the sentence. And slain him twice. That sounds better than and slew him. That sounds... And slain him twice. Once in Jack's human state, and again in the form of a dragon. Well, apparently it didn't happen. Apparently. Among his many other accomplishments are his victory in the Witchwood, Witchwood Arena... The slaying of the White Balverain and the freeing of the Prophets of the Fireheart. Maybe this is all that happened in the first game. Though any official records of his possible offspring would have been destroyed in the civilian attack of the Heroes Guild, this is what happened in the first game. So apparently I need to play the first game. It is believed that his bloodline continued... And that one day a new hero will emerge to save Albion in its time of need. Which is me! Yay! I actually never read these. The Tattered Spire. I know about that Tattered Spire. The Tattered Spire comes up in this game too. This rare book has the stain of time upon its pages. It tells of the fall of the old kingdom and what many scholars believe was the catalyst of its destruction. The Tattered Spire. It is said that the construction of the spire was ordered by the last archon. Well, I don't know what an archon is. It's probably first uh, first game lore, and that it was to be con it, bleh, and that it was to be a conduit for all the will in the world. The power it would. Bleh, I feel like a fucking high schooler reading this damn book. Yeah. The power it would command would be so great, reality itself might be shaped by anyone who used it. One day, one on the day of its completion, the Archon would, the Archon entered the spire, and the kingdom's subjects awaited what would be his first wish. Whatever that wa that wish was, the outcome was a wave of energy so vast it lay waste to the entire kingdom. Was this truly the Archon's wish to erase the corrupt world so that a fresh one might rise in its place? Yes, that's literally what happened. Okay, well, I thought there would be more books, but okay. How, how long has it been? 19 minutes already. Jeez, I need to get better at reading. <laughs> this might be a longer video. Fuck it. This is a longer video. Um... This is going to be a 40 minute video. Uh, da, 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 da. Beyond these broken doors lies the Heroes Guild. 
I'm gonna look. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna look up, dude. This place is huge. I wonder what's up there. Probably nothing. Like if somebody glitches up there, there's probably nothing. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once worshipped by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated. Your blood is awakening. You can now channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength, skill, strength or improves will. improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. I called it dexterity. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Nice. Before you is a colors gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. All right. Now... You have not been able to use will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate the color yeah. gate. Let me do that. All right, Look. abilities. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, skill, and will. I think we're do we'll do in and no, not in inferno. Twenty-five, twenty. 30! Target damage is 30. But area damage over shock here is... Your enemies and I think, them I think I'll do shock. There, I've done shock. Now we can strengthen... We can get... Uh, blocking. Which is important. Excellent. Well done. And you used to actually, a, a cool thing about this journey. game is that you Use used to be able to go game. to this website and then you could um, get information about uh, a suit of armor that actually resembled uh, Master Chief's armor. It was like modeled after M Master Chief armor. Um, but unfortunately, this website is discontinued and so I can't get it anymore. And I'm very, very sad because that would have been dope. My mom actually played this game before me, and she had that armor, and it was dope as hell. And it actually helped you a lot, because it was, like, really strong. Blech. It is to defeat them. Alright. Now we can use Will to defeat these bugs. Fuck you bug, 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 in general. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. And then we can, yeah, I know how to collect the orbs. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the Wow, I glitched the fucking game. I do that, this happens sometimes. When you kill somebody, like, you can kill somebody or something, like an animal or a person, so hard that it glitches the game like this and the orbs, like, stay. It's either that or... This is just a, uh, um, what what did what do you call it? A reference to what happens in the future, uh, whatever the vocabulary word is for that. Um, so there's me, and then there's three other people. Uh, the three other people are the embodiment of strength, skill, and will. And the first three, uh, the first one that we get is strength, and then there's me. So there's me. And then there's strength, there's will, and then there's skill, I think is the last one that we get. Um, so yeah, let's continue on with the story. That's happened multiple times in that specific area, and that's why I bring that up. That it might not be a glitch over there. But it has happened in other places too, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, where the fuck am I going? Are you taking me to where I'm supposed to be going or not? Oh, okay, duh. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna jump cut to where I'm supposed to be. Here's one of the silver chests. What we gotta do is go up to it for this one. All we need is one key. It shows you the number on the chest to let you know how many keys you need to open it. Um, yay. 
Um, we can teach the dog a new trick. Yay! We taught the dog a new trick. We can, uh, find books that teach you things and whatnot. Um, I call them scholar's books. Because books of a scholar. Person who goes to school. Anyway. Uh, we find scholars' books are all over the place, and they teach us you know, random things that we need. Apologies, citizen. The road to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit activity. I'm afraid that as long as the bandit thag is alive, the road stays closed. If you're in an hurry, like, you can always take care of thag yourself. Why don't you take their, like, why don't you and a bunch so, of other people take care of Thag? Because closed. it's literally right the fuck it would over seem there. Thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is He's a danger literally to all. right Must over here. With. Just with a bunch of guys. Power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp near Bower Lake. Yeah, yeah. I gotta do a thing. I gotta go do a thing. And it's got to be me who does the thing, because nobody else wants to do it. It literally- they literally show Thag's flags right out here. Just go do the thing. Keep your wits about you. It may be a trap. Look out! It's an ambush! Yep. Come here, bitch! I call dibs on his tank. Fuck oh. oh, you, bitch. You're getting whip. You'll hear me like clicking. I'm pressing buttons right now. I'm a button masher, I'm sorry. I can't roll, and that bothers me. I really need to get the roll. Why don't you try? Unleash your new powers to defeat Fag and his men. You bitch! It's really good to switch between weapons and shit. Um, eventually you get really good at switching between weapons, but right now, not so much. No one can oh, fight fuck Thag no. the impatient. I forgot he did you that. Myself. You did not just hit my I'll give you three dog. seconds to get ready. No way! Two! Oh, sorry. You did not just kick my fucking dog, dude. Oh. Bam! Shot him in the face. Damn, look at him ragdoll. That's funny. You are now famous enough to use the follow and wait expression. We got Thag's head. As a trophy. That's fucking Those hardcore, green dude. Those hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Thag keeps the key to the cage in his hut. It's in a chest. Alright. There's also, like, a fucking coin. There's a coin. A cent. Grubby journal. Grabbed some more traders today. Bunch of sorry weaklings, but Lucian don't seem to mind that. Oh my god, I hate reading things like this. Longs, bleh, longs he keep paying. What do I care? Been a while since he sended. Oh fuck! You literal. You bleh, your fucking illiteracy is making my blood cells kill themselves. Blood cells? They're making my brain cells kill themselves, dude. Your illiteracy is making my brain cells kill themselves, dude. Uh, he sent his boys around, though. He better hurry up with the cash. Ugh, that fucking hurt my brain. Oh, that was gross. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna set you free now. Oh, I didn't get the fucking key. I'm stupid. Alright, and then I'm gonna, uh, heal my puppy. Did that guy heal the puppers? Take the tag key. Uh, rancid beef jerky. 300 gold! Hell yeah! Oi, mate! 
don't even think about letting them out. Ah, uh, fuck off. Those slaves belong to me. I paid for them. No, you didn't. Even if you, even if you did, fuck off. They're Thank not slaves. You so much. I can't believe you did that. We're free. Free to wander the paths and byways of the land. No master but the wind itself. Time stretched out before is like... I like... What's the word I want, Reg? I don't know. And it's Regina. Right, I'm going now. Uh, thanks again. Uh, yes, thanks. You just turned down hard cash. Yeah, but... You can go fuck yourself. will never forget your kindness. You're a nutter, you know that? A nutter! And you have been electrocuted. So you can go die. Meet me in Bowerstone Market by the clock tower. There is something you must see. Fuck yeah. Can we buy this place? But oh, dude, we can't afford this place. Not yet, anyway. But it is on our agenda. It is on our agenda. So I'm going to jump cut to where we're supposed to be. All right. Apparently, someone killed off that bandit leader, so it's safe now. I'd like to shake the hand of the bloke who did it. Thumbs up. I did that. But I'm just going to give you the thumbs up because you guarded the uh, road to Bowerstone. I need to get better at talking. I actually, um, I did, um, words, damn it. Never mind. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you, the hero of Bower Lake. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bard, see. And that's the song I'm working on. It's, well, it's my first one. I'm just starting out. No, I, I don't think I will. I'm sorry, but I have to... I have to go do things now. I'm sorry. I have bad news. I'm afraid I will be delayed for a while. In the meantime, you should buy some new equipment and prepare for the challenges ahead. Yep, we're but gonna buy need money. If you need money, there are jobs to be found. I believe the blacksmith has an opening. Yeah, the blacksmith has an opening, but what will it be? I am also gonna sell Come some back weapons. If you have anything else to sell. And then we can buy weapons. We can't buy this because it's four uh, because it's $3,140. So $3,140. Um, and we only have 6000 right now. But there are other things that we can sell. Um, over here... Noble blacksmith. Blah, blah, blah. Um, over here... This place over here, the dude keeps talking and it's throwing me off. Um, but I can sell to the general goods trader. I can sell the diaries and beef jerky and journals and books and shit like that. And get money for that. So fuck yeah. Now we're uh, one third of the way there. Now all we can do, now what we can do is go to this job. He keeps talking in the background. And it's me off. A few stalls set up if you fancy some shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take this job, and then I'm gonna jump cut because you guys. I'm gonna show you what it is right now. But. After that, um, this is pretty much all you do, and you can do this for like fucking hours, hours and hours. But I actually don't do this. 
There's actually a um uh what do they what do they call it? A good blow. It's not a glitch. Um but basically when you buy a piece of property, every 5 real-time minutes you get paid um what they owe you, like as the rent that the they owe you. And so what you can do right. if you don't mind leaving your Xbox That's on a for hours at a time um, is you can start up the game like in the morning or something before you go to work. Uh, you can actually plug in your controller if you don't already have a, like a wired controller. If you have a wireless controller, you can get a wire adapter, plug the wire adapter into the Xbox, and then plug the strike. other end into the controller, and then you can just turn off your TV and go to work for fucking eight hours and come back and you'll have a fuck ton of money because every five minutes you get paid you know how to use um and the more buildings you own and the more um the more shops and houses and shit that you own the more money you get and so right now i'm not going to be able to do that um but perfect i will be able to do that eventually so i'm actually going to jump cut I have been promoted um so my gold until my next promotion 160 uh gold until my next promotion but uh what I will do is go back into the job Teresa is already here but every time you get promoted can't you hit straight you actually make more money per sword. So, I'm gonna keep going until I am able to get that, uh, sword. And, uh, I'll come back when I'm done. Um, let me just do this one sword so that keep I... Keep hitting it like that. Don't mess up. There we go. Alrighty. Um, I have made enough to buy the sword... What I do need to do, however, is I need to go to bed. Um, and once I actually go to bed, then... Excuse me. Um, I go to bed, and then... It's basically a way to make it daytime, obviously. Um, for 12 hours. I think 12 hours is good. You should actually, you're actually supposed to get eight hours it's of sleep. closing time for all shops. What do you mean closing time for all shops? No. Okay. What will it be? Um. The steel long sword. We're having a special on that today. Oh, it's expensive for a reason. Thank you. It's the best. And then we're gonna sell this rusty I ass mace. I can make a profit on that. And then we can actually buy that item's on sale. What do we have? A crossbow. The blunderbuss will do. There you go. Damn it. The lightly splintered crossbow sucks. Always happy to worse, buy your unwanted so. items. We got a rusty blunderbuss, but we also got a really good fucking longsword, so. I apologize for the delay. Events are moving quickly indeed. Think about your life. All the places you've been, the people you've known, everything you've done. How many moments, how many memories. Thag and his men. They had just as many. And now they have none. Because of you. Do you feel the weight of responsibility yet? Don't. Hello. I'm not going to say You're anything. You're not from around here, are you? Very well. Keep your thoughts. But know your actions today saved many. Come. The best I the could have done in that situation. Fag, and certainly Bower Lake is in your debt. But to really see the impact of your actions, you need look no further than Bowerstone. It has changed much since you lived here. 
particularly Old Town, where you spent your childhood. Never forget that even the simplest choice can have far-reaching consequences. I have titles for the great and the stupid. So this is where we learn more of the lore. So I'm not going to say anything. Look. That is where Lucian is now. The Tattered Spire. The Spire was intended as a conduit for all the magic in the world, granting the Kingdom's ruler a power so great he could bend reality to his will. On the day it was completed, and the first wish made, a light bloomed inside, though its nature could not have been darker. Albion shattered. Centuries of civilization were wiped out in moments. Its people erased from existence. Some say that this was the first wish, an end to a hollow and corrupt world, and for a purer one to take its place. And now the spire rises once again by Lucian's hand. Lucian summoned documents which the two would examine would stop him using the spire. That is why your sister died. And that is why you will face him. The cards have shown me this. Here. Take a look. All right. The fake cards. Each of the three heroes you see in the cards is a step on the hidden path to Lucian's downfall. And the life force of heroes, will itself, is the key to the Spire's power. Lucian's agents scour the land even as we speak. You must find the three heroes before Lucian does, because you are the fourth, the one who will bring his downfall. I have seen a vision of a holy ritual in Oakfield. Salvation, though bittersweet, is delivered by one of incredible strength. Speak to the abbot at the Temple of Light and see what you can learn of this pilgrim. The road to Oakfield will be dangerous. Good luck. All right. Well, you we've learned about um, the Tattered Spire and what Lord Lucian is going to do with it, or is planning to do with it. Um... And uh, we've learned of the three people. Actually, let me go into my items real quick and show you that. Books and documents. Um, there's the choice. The choice. A terrible decision waits in your future. And just beyond it, a glorious reward. So we're going to have a choice at the end of the game. I'm not going to say what the choice is. But we are going to have a choice at the end of the game. The thief. the thief. This hero harbors a soul without a glimmer of light. I see choked weeds and water. He lies just out of reach. I don't know. Actually, I actually don't know what that enta entails. But the mage, the pilgrim, and the relic... I think the thief might be, um, I don't know. The mage follows where wisdom leads, but always into conflict. Talk to the abbot in Oakfield. This hero will cost you much. Yeah, that's the mage. I know who that is. I'm not telling anybody, but I know who that is. I'm just going to go through all these just to give you a little inkling of what's to come in the later episodes. The pilgrim. pilgrim. This hero has great spirit and awesome strength, but it is not yet unleashed. The pilgrim's path is to the north. The pilgrim is the person that we're going to talk to next in the next episode. And then there's this one. The relic. The relic. An ancient device of incredible power created by those who foresaw the terror of the spire. It waits for one with the strength to bear it, and for the three who can summon it. Alright, so the relic, I know what that is. The relic, um, 
yeah, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave you guys on that. <laughs> Um, if you liked the video, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're always notified of another one of my videos. There's going to be a link to my Patreon in the description down below, and there's going to be a link to my Discord. Um, for my Patreon, there's a $3 and a $6 option. Everything I make on my Patreon, and eventually, hopefully, YouTube will go directly into making every single video that much better. And I will see all you guys in the next video. Later!